Hello folks, Foxlow back again. This is now part 4 of my X series, X4 series. And um, what I've done so far, I've come to, back to, where are we? Um, Trinity Sanctum, to the wharf there, which I'm going to get my ship repaired and upgraded. But I left the pilot to find my way here, and he took this route from, where was I? I can't remember where I was now. <laughs> because I started to save off again and he's gone through Unholy Retribution and Trinity Sanctum which I didn't have and Trinity Sanctum has the Parony Dwarf which has the ship that I want and I've got enough money so this is what we're going to do I'm going to buy the ship that I want where are we? buy ships so you can do it remotely and I've got a feeling look yeah it's going to be time I don't know how long it's going to be a long time before the ship is built because they haven't got some of the goods but because the, the economy is just starting, not many places have got the goods. You can go and get antimatter converters yourself and engine parts and deliver them to the thing, but I have not got that option to do right now. So if we order it now, this is the one I wanted, plus the Vanguard Miner. I like the style, I really do. Got the... Um, the uh, mining beam there and it's got two turrets but um, we're going to select the loadout and then delete parts of the loadout that we don't want it's only 150 grand to buy it um, which is cool but so the high preset will make it 1,898,000 so it's a bit bit, bit too <laughs> expensive I don't want to use all my money at the moment so let's put a medium preset what that one gives that's not bad um, Let's have a look, see what it's got. Um, combat 2, combat thrusters, hmm. I don't know if the combat thrusters are what I would want. That's combat thrusters by 2, let's lift that. You see it needs that, and that needs 20 engine parts. Which it doesn't have. So that's, you can tell how long it's going to take. Um, mine and drill, they've got all the stuff for that. All this stuff for that. Hmm. I wonder if we um, we can change that. You see, we can change that if we want. Plus combat. I don't know if I'd want combat ones on them. Thrusters. Let's have a look. Where's thrusters? There we go. And that's the current ones they got on there. Combats are all round. All round is cheaper. No, it's a mining vessel, so I don't really want combat on it. But hmm. If I click that, oh no, it's only got the one engine. That puts that, see that'll change that to the price a bit lower. I don't think it needs a combat thruster on it, it's not a combat ship to start with, so I don't know why they put that on there. Um, let's change what else, combat mark 2, all round. that make a difference in the speed maybe, I don't know. Um, Right, okay, well, well, I'm going to leave it like that, I don't need combat, all round thrusters, combat engine, let's look at the engine, combat mark 2, 87, like what about that, let's see, what's the speed, let's have a look, um, speed, see it's quicker than the, uh, the discover, look, 461, uh, let's see what that does to the speed. Yeah, it takes it down. It all round takes it down. Combat 461, what about travel? That's 81. 440. Travel is 4835. That it goes to 3000. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go travel. Gets it to places quicker, so we'll change that one. That's travel engine. Um, medium shield. Let's look at shields. I actually want the best shield. It's only got Mark One. 
Where are we? Shield, 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 shield. Where was it? Where is shield? Mining drill. I've shielded in the Mark 1. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to cost a bit more, but I'd prefer to have the higher shield on it. So we bung that on. Generally Mark 1. Mark 2. Mining drill Mark 2. Let's look at the mining drill. Weapons. Oh, we trust. Right, mining drill. What we got here? Mining drill Mark 2. It is a better one. Okay. Okay, we keep that. How about the um, turrets? Well, yeah, you don't have that option anyway. Christ God. God Rail Military Equipment. License. Okay, so we got to accept that one. Old Mark 1. Not very powerful, but... Um, there you go. Um, where are we? Two by Pulse Mark 1. Okay. All that we'll keep. But I don't want all these on there. Um, get rid of these. Um, can we get rid of them? I don't know if we can get rid of them. No, you can't. Unit price. Um, because I don't know if you can transfer them. I don't particularly want them on this ship. Hmm. That beacon. Let's have a look. <coughs> So the consumables. Oh, okay, then we can change them here. So satellites. Do I really want a satellite on them? No, I don't think I will. Mm. Gonna waste them. So put that at zero. Put that at zero. Put that at zero. Four crewmen, thirty thousand. Well, I'll keep the crewmen, I think, because they can. You can transfer them. Easy enough. I don't know how to transfer goods at the moment, so I have no idea. Flares. Keep the flares. Yeah, just in case. That's consumables. Crew. We've done that. Software. Anything better on the software side, please? Scan a long range. Wow. Docking computer Mark Two. We want that. Yeah, it does make a big price, see, but let's have a look. What's the price now? Still only 696. So, Dock Computer Mark 2. Yeah, crewmen. Mm, well, I wonder how long this is going to take. Long range scanner. That's it, was set up, I think. We'll leave it at that for now. That's our first one. So, add to shopping list. Um, total price. Okay, that's cool. Confirm order. Right, now we need to know how long that's going to take. Um, so if we go to Dock Interactions... No, oh it's not that one. Map. Poverty Own. Oh my god, two hours. Now that's two hours game time, two hours. I don't know what an hour is in real... A game time hour is in real life hour, so... The station's missing resources, so we've got to wait for it. I have no idea how long that could be. Okay, that's done. We bought one. So let's get back to our ship. And now I need to get... Can I upgrade it from here? Have a look. Um, redesign. Redesign? Let's see what that says. Oh, here we go. No, it's just redesign. Oh, can we change the colour? Paint. Only default. I'm sure should have more. Locations. Enhance. I don't have them. No, I don't pre-order them, but... The last time I looked at this, there was four options there, so I could change the colour. Hmm. Let's get in the cockpit. Hello. Hello. Now, that would not be Upgrade and repair. Engines, repair doesn't need repairing, crew. Oh, I see the colour. Hmm. Mm, 
don't see working that way. Let's do the high priest here. See how much that costs. God, nearly a million. What does it have? Let's have a look. Uh, let's do this manually again. Um, engines. What's it currently got? Where are we? Engines 2, five, travel mark, why then red? Currently oh, added chip, not added to show yeah, okay. Um Oh here we go. Um Combat Mark three. How much will that leave us? I don't know. Doesn't have turrets. Let's have a look. Um, travel speed three is less. Um, nice bow. Do the travel speed for this one rather than combat. I don't know why that is in red. I want basic scanner. Oh, okay. oh it's in red because it's changed. Okay, you yeah, stupid boy. Yeah, because we're changing it. How um, much is my total money? Okay. Thrusters, what thrusters we got? All round mark three. Do they change anything in combat? Your, yeah, goes down. Okay. We'll keep them. Shield generators. Shield mark three. So, why is that one then? What's that different? Shield. Oh, Partel. Hold on. Where's shielding? Shielding. Shield MJ-152. Oh yeah. That gives you better shield. How about that one? Okay, that's the best one. Leave that one. Weapons. Dumb fire launching. <laughs> we'll just keep the current pulse lasers that we've got. Um, Tides doesn't have software, make sure we've got the good software. Docking computer mark 2, we want that. Right, it's this long range scanner mark 2. That's it, that's okay. Tumor balls, okay, amount satellite 16, navigate beacon 17, and resource flow 17, okay. How about crew? No, crew, I ain't gonna get another one just yet. Okay, let's put that to shopping cart. Okay, that'll do. Confirm order. Now it's going to take one minute, 56 seconds. So I'm, I really would like to know how long one hour in-game is, in real terms, waiting for our other one. Where are we? Be there. Yeah, it's still staying the same. Under construction there, look, one hour's... One hour's going down. Oh, wait a minute, that's, that's my one, isn't it? The little one. <coughs> hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause it here now and come back to you. I'm going to have a cup of tea and whatever while I'm waiting for this to get done. Yeah, I could go out, out and do some other stuff in the fight server. I need a cup of chai right now, so I'll be back in a mo. Okay, finally guys, built. And I brought it to where I was because it took roughly, I think, about an hour, hour and a half. I'm not 100% sure because I, was, um, I left it being built and um, went and did some discoveries. As you can see, I've now 
opened up a bit more of the map. I've come up over here and this is where I was when I checked to see if it was built. So I brought it and made it fly to me. And another thing I've discovered is that um, getting the, um, where are we? It's like property owned. Getting the, uh, um, the crew from buying it from the ship while it's being built or at that position, I'm, I'm going to test it in a minute. The crew has actually got, um, the captain's got three stars. Uh, where is he? Personnel, captain, look, Abmanket Bass, he's got three stars so I could change him and send him to a trader because to be able to auto trade the pilot must have three stars. Now he already had it, now he's one of the um, ones that was in the ship when I bought it. So, but the others are recruits. Where are we? The, the other four. There's another four. So you've got a crew of five. Service crew of two, which is them, but they're, they're, or they're apprentices. And then the marines, the two marines are recruits. So I'm wondering if um, you buy a ship and then um, include a pilot with it, that pilot has got some sort of star system on him already. Whereas if you actually hire them from a station, they've got nothing their apprentices or they're new so I'm going to test that buy one through the shipbuilding system just buy a pilot or what, what I would do is sit in the sea and buy a making pilot and see if he's got stars on him so that's for something later on but right now and I've also found a, a decent way of looking for the uh, crystals because as you can see I'll show you while I was waiting for it being built, I did a load of um, crystal hunting and I got quite a lot. Um, let's have a look. But not of the white ones yet, which is a pity. <laughs> Inventory. There we go, melanin crystals. See, look, I've got 19 acrylite crystals, which were... Were they blue? I think they were blue. Loads of the ba bandonite is the cheap ones. They're 1,000 each. So there's 101,000, look at that, there's six, 700,000 there. And in this particular field, they're all over the shop. And I found the best way of doing it is going to a third person and just sit there and if, just look into the field for a couple of seconds and hopefully a glint will catch your eye at the moment because um, I'm probably a bit too far. Well, no, even in the distance, I've even seen one, this one here, I've seen it glint as far as, oh wait a minute, I just saw a glint there, hold on. There, let's see, you see that? That's freaking small. Now, is it going to glint again? Yes, see how easy it is to see? I hope you can see that. But the problem with the small roids, if you hit the roid, it will sometimes blow up and you lose your crystal. So, um, it's a bit awkward on the small ones. You've got to make sure, I see it's glinting again. I think that one's glinting as well. Or is that just a star behind it? That could just be a light. But that's definitely a, a crystal there. See it? And that's miles away. Let's see how far away that is. Can I target it? Well, it's not that far. It's nine kilometers. But there you have it. So this is a better way because you, you can actually see more of the roids. But what I want to do right now, I want to get into the mining ship. So at the moment, because we don't have teleporting, because you can teleport to your ships, how you get that right now, I'm not 100% sure. So the only way we're going to get to the ship is to EVA. So if I leave my ship... Hopefully the pilot's not going to fly Hello. away. Don't want him to fly away yet. But anyway, let's get into the... Base suit and down we go. And I want to join the other ship. So we highlight it, press shift D, and then fly towards the, uh, the docking port. I love this style, it's so cool. See it's automatically got my logo on it when it was built, because I put that on my um, Discoverer, which I've now named Vixen. Oh, I love this ship. A bit awkward like this. 
Where are we? Going, going, going. The spacesuit is quite awkward to fly actually. Not too fast, we're all docked as soon as I get in there. There we go. Oh, look at this. How many crew members are there? Well, only one. There should be another one because I've got two. That's so cool. But right, what I need to do is get in the seat. Captain Abanketbas. <laughs> Three star captain, cool. Anyway, Captain, I want to leave you for a second. Three eyes, yeah. <laughs> Greetings. Yes, absolutely, mate. Right. You see up here? These are your turrets. And you can, what you do to, um, at the moment they're on defend ship. You've got a left turret. Now if I, if I click them, there, that means they'll attack anything. They'll attack enemies. Because it's the, um, sign. are they actually working? I'm not sure. Let's target that. And you can also target roids. That's missile defense. You can put them both on missile defense. And that's to attack a roid. There they go. They're attacking the nearest roid. So the, the turrets are working. There we go. Better view. So cool. Are they actually hitting the roid though? <laughs> well, they're targeting different roids, look. Oh, he's blowing that one up. Now they're both going to do the other one. Let's have a look. What one are they targeting? Not that one. They're not, probably not going to do enough damage to blow that big one up. Look, look how slow it's going down. Eventually they will. But they don't seem to be um, having any heat problem. But the best thing to have them on, I think, obviously I've not tested it because I've not been attacked on it yet, touch wood, um, is to set one on defence and one on missile defence. Like that. That's it, so one hopefully will... I don't know if the tracking on them is any good. From what I've read, I have read some of the forum things, they said they're not tracking very well. Um, so missiles are a pain in the game because you can't... If you're in a fighter ship without any... Um, I know you can pop out flares, I think. But you can't hit them. Like you could in X3, you could uh, blow them up. But you can't shoot them in this game for some stupid reason. So yeah, the, the guns are now hopefully set so they'll protect the ship. I love it. <laughs> and we can set him to auto mine as well while you're in the ship, which is what I like to do. But you can actually auto mine a uh, mine a lot quicker than the actual crew can, and they're quite simple to mine with. And what you need to do, you go into scan mode, normal scan mode, which is shift two, and it colours. As you can see, everything is coloured that, um, what's that one? I think that's silicone, is it? Oh no, it's ore. So orange is ore, I think silicone is blue. Let's fly it. Do some flying, shall we? Why can't I, why can't I go on the thing? Let's, my keyboard's not working. Ah, oh, there we go. Sometimes your keyboard stops working and your mouse thing stops working. The best way to get it is press escape quickly, twice, and it comes back so it's another bug there are a few bugs I'm afraid there we go that, that should be silicone there we go let's go and grab some they're cool the thing with the uh, AI when it mines it doesn't always mine the best mine <laughs> eventually it does work uh, it works well in my um, other game work which I've saved which I've backed up it was getting around depending on the area that you're mining in you need to find the, um, you have to discover the minefields before it will mine in that area, so you've got to discover it. You can't send it into a, a fresh area and, and tell it to mine. It won't find the minefields. Well, I don't think it did, because it didn't work for me. But anyway, let's do a bit of mining, quick. And all you do is, I think it's within five, or is it within two kilometers? Because it's not going to hit yet, so You've got to be within two kilometers. So now, there we go. And what you do then, hopefully, pick up some silicone, 172, that's cool. 
Right, so you fly towards it, and then when it gets, when you can see the rock, right now, press zero. Inventory items are small things in cargo stored in your ship. We've got it in, I think. Silicone, yeah, 172, so. Auto saving is automatically auto saving now. The game periodically does that auto save. Um, I don't know what the time limit is for it. Let's check our inventory. I just want to check what we've got in. How many that if it filled us up or not. I don't think it's 4,500. Um, where are we? Where are we? Yeah, look, we've got storage. One where? 1,720 of silicone. There we go. So that's how simple it is. Oh, come on, get out. There should be some more here somewhere. Look, okay, there we go. Two, that should... No, it's 2,000. Not quite for us up. So you get that. And I'll show you in a minute how he auto mines, but I need to sell this first before I set him to auto mine. Could I get it? No, I missed it. Um. <coughs> Where are you? There you are. Let's... So we can see it go in the hole, do it nice and slow. Oh! I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go backwards, I'm going to get in the hole. Because it will show it going down into the hole, which is cool. Behind us, hopefully. Where are you? There you go. Press O. There she goes. Goes into your hold. Um, and you know when you're full up because it won't, it won't pick up anymore. You don't always just have to look. But we press O and we've got that one. Might now be four. What's that one? 100. I like doing this. Yeah, I've got that as well. Silicone, 49. Where's the others? The easiest way to lock it is. Oh, another tip. If you see a lot of people um, got the ship mining, what happens when they mine? They release some of the goodies. So if you're in a ship um, that doesn't mind, but you can then pick up some of the stuff they drop. So if you press the map marker, the map, look at that, that's space by eggs, unstable crystals, unstable crystals, you can pick all these up, lodestone. Lodestones are used for um, crafting. What you can craft with them yet, I don't know, because I haven't looked into it properly yet. But yeah, you get all these goodies, you can go and pick up the space by eggs, which I've already done some of. Which, but this will only appear when you've got mining ships in the area. Um, this is not a good place to auto mine for the simple reason you've got, um, where are we? I've got about three or four mining ships here. So you, you've got a bit of competition in this area. What we need to do now is find, hopefully, one of these is a silicone refining station. Then we can sell our stuff there. Or take it to a silicone refining somewhere else that we've already discovered. Uh, let's have a look. Defense. Taladium. Taladium. Space weed. No, there isn't one there. Let's have a look. I know there is one somewhere. Let's have a look. Um, silicone. And I can put my pilot in and send him there. Um, where is it? Apparently, I oh know there's one here somewhere. Healing, microchip, antimatter, silicone. There we go. So we need to send him to this place, as we've discovered it. So what we need to do now? Come out of the sea. Yeah, I could get there, but I want to see the pilot do it. Where are we? Go on, Captain. Get in your seat. Okay, greetings. greetings. Now let's give him the order. Ship information, behavior, 
press delete all, make sure everything's deleted. So there's no more orders for him. He'll set, what he's doing now, hopefully he's settling down. I hope. Now if I go in the outside view, I've got to click on it and where are we? Okay, I need him to stop, I don't know what he's doing. But the way to make him stop, go back into your ship mode, ship information, click on that and where are we? Where's hold? Where's hold? Hold position. Hold position confirm. They should stop. Come on, stop, thank you. And what I want to do now is um get my other ship Dixon, where are you? Should be able to do it from here. Actions. Turn of view redesign. Well, why can't I do that? There we go. Information. And follow ship. I'll do follow at the moment instead of um. Right click me and select and hopefully he'll follow me. Give him a couple of seconds hopefully. <laughs> He's not moving yet. Oh, I've got to confirm. <laughs> that might help. There we go. He's following me now. Now what we need to do with our one. Some vixen, let's get out of that one. Right, information. Um, dock and wait. Go dock and wait. Go to the destination and then find that station where I want him to dock. Where was it? <laughs> Sorry, already it was here somewhere, wasn't it? Where are we? Apparently, silicone refinery, so click on it, right click on it, select, and then confirm. And he'll go there, hopefully. There we go. And the little vixen will follow us. I like doing this, I like letting the, the pilots fly me, and I just watch. It's so cool. I've got to watch, there's a lot of police around here because um, police ships um, from the systems and they're checking all the ships and I've got loads of contraband on my um, myself. <laughs> I'm wondering if they'll see the contraband because it's on me and not in the ship or the pilot, so it's on me. So I don't know if that, that's an option that they'll miss it, so I don't know. Because I'm not flying the ship. The only problem with this, the AI do hit a lot of stuff. They don't, their, their pathing is terrible. Now we're going through, this is what I love. Entering, he was twin, one. We can watch him fly. I just love this, this is so cool. Where's he going, where's he going, go on hit the, he's going to hit the gate isn't he? Yeah, he's going to hit the gate. That's why I have um, collision off. That would have, we would be dead now if we had collision on. Do not leave collision on in the game when you're using the AI and you're there. It's um, hopeless. Docket Power Silicon Refinery One. Where is it going? Oh God, we're thirty what four minutes in. I want to show this because I want to sh show you how absolutely hopeless the AI are at pathing. Where is he going? It shows you his route that he's taking. 
I hope my ship's following me all right. But he's going that way, see, hopefully. But why is he going at slow speed? Oh, because I've, maybe because I've got somebody following, he's not using his um, sugar. Hmm. Now, he knows that my uh, Vixen is following him. This is what it was in X3. If you have somebody following you, your ship, the ship that is in the lead, that's being followed, will reduce to the speed of the ship that is following. So if that ship that is following doesn't go into fast, this one won't go into fast. Mm, that's a mistake if you want to get there quick. I've just remembered that. So he's sticking at the normal speed because he's got a follower. Let's, um, yeah, let's countermine that order for the little ship. Uh, orders, I can't do that right now. I can't get him, I can't get him there, all that information. Um, see, he's got him. Let's see what happens if I say hold. Where are I? Hold position. Confirm. And hopefully he's going to stay there. Yeah, now, now we're speeding up, so yeah, that's a mistake I made there. He will now, because he's on his own, go as fast as he can to get to the location I want him to go to. So where is he heading? See the difference? So now I can, obviously, if I want get him to go there as well so he gets I'll get both ships to the same place um, uh, la, 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 where are we dock and wait him to go to the same place where are we Oh, factory, no. Oh, we finally no. There we go. Left click on it to highlight it, or you can just look, uh, right click and select. Confirm. Now, my little ship should be coming to us. Is he on the move? Where is he? Up here. Where is he? Lost him already. No, he's near, isn't he? Oh, he's in the gate system. Can't find him. Hmm. Where's he gone? Oh, here he is. Yeah, see, he's moving. So he's coming. Cool. Now you watch this ship. You'll crash right into the station instead of landing. First off, their pathing is terrible. Let's do a quick save just in case. Now he should be slowing down now and he's not. He'll go bang straight into the station. Yep. This is why you want collision off. There you go. Oh, he's actually landing, look. Oh, that's a good landing. I don't believe this. Normally they bounce off. So this will be our first big trade. But I want to do it mainly in the... Um, what you call it? The Paranid Faction area. Because I want to get rep up with the Paranid Faction. Right, let's get back in the ship. We need to get back in there to do the trade I think I don't think I can trade without being in there no I've got to be in the ship which is a bit silly I think there's possibly maybe a way to do it while you're not in the ship 
silicone 121,000 so let's see how much we got 54k not bad but in certain areas you can get more than that depending on where you are um, it's good to find waiting for trade to finish 54,000 done cool so there we have it guys I've got me um, mining ship and um, I'll show you auto mining in the next one which is um, I want to find a decent uh, painted area to go and do it in so that's what I'm going to do while I'm off camera so I thank you if you got this far and I'll catch you in my next one